Hello, and welcome back to C's Listening Room. just want to deviate from the stuff I've been reviewing uh, for the most part a little bit. A lot of nice stuff's been kind of alternative or indie rock, which I've, I've gotten a lot of enjoyment out of for decades now. And I just wanted to touch on the heavy metal culture. This is something that, believe it or not, I was really into when I was a teenager. Um, I, I always thought the heavy metal people were the coolest people because they seemed a little more self-aware. They knew their place in, in society and they didn't try to put on a false front. They seemed like they were probably very true to themselves and they were, they were anti-trendy. I mean, they would just basically have their hair out long, patches on their jeans, stinky sneakers. You know, they'd wear jackets with heavy metal patches all over them. And it was very anti-trendy, very anti-cool, very anti-hip. They, to me, were probably the most relaxed people in terms of their sense of, of fashion or lack thereof. And I think they were just... They were understanding of their place in society, and they, they weren't phony. I think they were probably some of the more honest people. And I, and, I mean, I always imagined the 80s metal people, uh, the hard rock people, glam rockers, the kinds that would hang out at malls or at arcades and stuff like that. And I think it, it definitely had an influence on me when I became a teenager in the 90s because I would grow my hair out long. I had, I had long hair for a little while. I had like heavy metal t-shirts. I'd take regular t-shirts, turn them inside out, and I'd walk around with the label hanging out as a fashion statement. And I've always really been into just that, that kind of heavy metal subculture. I always kind of related to it a little more and I always liked it. And I always thought it was probably maybe a little easy to get into and be accepted into. So I've always I always really had a thing for the 80s metal culture. And so the album I have here right now is Rat and Roll, 8191. This is from Rat. This is one of the big, big bands of that 80s glam rock, or as we call it sometimes, hair metal culture. And... The people that listened to this music were definitely the kinds of people I would have wanted to hang out with in the 80s. This is definitely like mall rock or or probably arcade music rock. Uh, and this is definitely like the soundtrack of that culture that I definitely have an admiration for. Uh and as far as compilation albums go, I think this is actually one of the better ones. This is 19 tracks. It's a single volume set. It's got every possible song anybody would want from this group. Uh, really, you, you'd be completely, completely fulfilled with this one. If you want to know... If you want to get familiar with this band, this is the only CD you need. If you are familiar with this band, this is the only one you'll need from them. Because I don't really think it skips any songs anybody could possibly want. It covers their the, the height of their career. And I think they might have released a few albums afterwards. But nothing on it that was that was particularly notable. So this pretty much covers everything that you'd... you'd possibly ask for from Rat. Now, not only is it a good compilation album, not only is this a well-made, complete, and thorough history of the band, but it's it's just fun music. And, I mean, you have to mention, they did have some, I mean, they did have some uh, identity to them. I mean, Stephen Piercy's raspy voice is pretty distinctive. Um, Robin Crosby and Warren Demartini were kind of guitar heroes in the 80s. You, I mean, if you go back and find back issues of, of old guitar magazines from the 80s, you'd see interviews with them and articles about them. They were kind of like talents to watch. Uh, 
Fortunately, Robin Crosby is no longer with us, and Warren Demartini hasn't been real active or in the limelight, but they definitely had uh, some musical chops, too, in addition to just being uh, part of this this fun uh, 80s rock culture group. Uh, but, you know, this is, this is music... It's dated. It has not really aged well. I don't think a lot of people nowadays would, would really like it. I think it's more of a nostalgia act. The people who would really like this music are the ones that grew up with it in the 80s or early 90s, and they listen to it for old time's sake. But you know what? It's fun, and it isn't to be taken seriously. It's not like music that's trying to get you in touch with what's uh, bringing you down. It's not music that's trying to get you in touch with angst and depression and addiction. And A lot of people like that music because it speaks to them, and it makes them feel like they're not alone in the world. And I fully understand that. But this is music that makes you kind of escape that. It's about girls and partying, and if you listen to this music, everybody is going to think you're you're cool. You know, the videos with them in fancy cars and motorcycles and all that, and the girls everywhere. And it, It's not to be taken seriously. It's not supposed to speak to you like so much of the grunge music and everything that came after and the, the modern music. It's just supposed to be fun. It's supposed to it's supposed to be lighthearted and send a message of of enjoying life. And I think we definitely need some of that in this day and age. And I think in today's music scene, we could definitely use some of that of just people having a good time. This is good time rock and roll. And as I said, it came from I mean, this is Southern California, nineteen eighties. It's from a certain time and a place where it's just about a good time and. You could say the yeah, you could definitely say the music's outdated, and maybe there isn't much of an audience for this kind of music anymore. But I think the whole style of this music, the whole vibe of it, and the whole mood of it is still pretty fun. Uh, and as I said, you really don't need more than than this album. This is a really well compiled album. It it really gives you a full overview of this band's career. Um, as I said, as a band, they definitely they definitely offered something uh, of dis that was distinctive and something that was uniquely their own. But they also uh, contributed to this to the the greater subculture, hard rock, heavy metal, hair rock subculture of of the eighties, and we're we're definitely a soundtrack of that. It just it's just. It's old school stuff. It's fun. Uh, a lot of good songs on here. I mean, Round and Round. Okay, Back for More. Lay It Down. Way Cool Jr. I Want a Woman. The video uh, for that appeared on Beavis and Butthead. Uh, I think it was Beavis that was saying that the girls in the video were all sophomores. Um, I don't know how I remember that. I just That's the only thing I remember about their commentary on the video. Uh, giving Yourself Away, that was their their power ballad hit. Just a fun group, fun music to listen to, uh, and it was, a, it was a really fun music scene. I wish I was old enough to be part of it growing up. I wish I was old enough to be part of that that uh, cool group of, of people that just wanted to have fun and enjoy life before music got so serious and... and made you think about your problems. This is music that made you escape your problems. And I guess it's not my fault. There's nothing I could have done. I, I couldn't, I, I, I mean, I couldn't control when I was born and that I, I wasn't born early enough to, uh, I wasn't born 10 years earlier to, to be like 16 or 17 uh, when this music came out. But I can look back on it and say, those are cool times. And those were cool people that were involved in that scene. So anyway, 3.5 stars, Rat and Roll 8191. If you're uh, interested in, in reliving those days, this is as good an album as any to get into. Uh, as I say, I got this one at a garage sale. And 
I think it's very well done as a compilation, as it's all encompassing of the band's career. So 3.5 stars, Rat and Roll 8191, and now I've gotten my, uh, now I've gotten some some glam rock included in my uh, video now too. So there's that accomplishment. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.